Eric Masters from MastersFitness.com. Today, part two, talking about the power bound. So when it comes to jumping higher off the ground, we're gonna use what's called the power bound or the power jump. Really the key here is that we're actually now gonna be jumping just a little bit higher and increasing the distance between us and the ground. Now, the key thing to think about here is that we're still bounding, we're not jumping, just like we talked about in part one. So, you still wanna maintain that upright torso and you might have a little bit more bend in the knee because you're trying to jump just a little bit higher. This is often where a lot of people start to go wrong and where the mechanics start to break down is when they're trying to get that extra high jump so that they can get clearance for two passes to go underneath them. There's really two common ways that you'll start to see that form break down. The first way is called the donkey kick. It's when they start to really bring the heels up towards their butt and uh, they think that this is an effective method for getting more space, which it is, but it's really a slow way to do multiple reps off the ground a lot of times because the you're kind of smashing your feet back in to the ground and then kicking them back up again. It becomes slow and inefficient and uses lots of energy. So it can get the job done, but is not the most efficient way. The other most common way that people start to have issues when they're trying to jump a little bit higher is called piking, where they actually start to bring their feet in front of them and kind of bending at the waist. That This is also another way they're just trying to create more space between them and the ground. But then you're often landing back almost on your heels, which you really don't want to do when you're bounding. And it's just very inefficient. So we're going to try to avoid both piking and donkey kicks and just keep with really solid bounding mechanics. So once you've practiced high bounding without a rope, we're going to give you a drill to start to do with the rope. This is low and high bounds. What you're going to do is you're going to start doing a couple of single unders, four or five of them, and then you're going to throw in one power bound. Then you're going to go right back into single unders for four or five reps and another power bound. The idea here is you're just going to do four or five power bound, four or five power bound. If you can start to do that for 30 to 45 seconds, then all we're going to do is start to reduce the number of single unders between power bounds. So only do three single unders and then a power bound. And if you get down to two single unders and a power bound, around that point, you're probably ready to just go straight into doing consecutive power bounds. If you didn't watch part one, go back and check it out. I talked about a drill called single under accelerations. While you're working on the power bound, still keep working on your single under accelerations. That way you're still understanding and practicing putting a lot of speed on the rope. Something that people notice when they start to do power bounds is that you feel like the rope is going around you so slow. I mean, this is commonly what I feel. It just snail pace around you, which is a beautiful thing because that starts to help you understand that you don't have to be spinning the rope super, super fast to do double unders. You're not spinning it twice as fast as you were doing for single unders, and you're not jumping twice as high as you have to for single unders. The perfect double under comes somewhere in between where you're jumping a little bit higher and spinning the rope a little bit faster, and that where they meet is a double under. Once you've really mastered the power bound, we're ready to move on to the double under, which we're gonna talk about more in part three. Thanks for watching part two of Double Under Mastery with mastersandfitness.com. Please click subscribe below so that you can be the first one to know about when future parts come out. So we look forward to seeing all of your uh, power bounds and single under accelerations. If you want to post a video of it, link it in the comments below or share it on social media and uh, I'll give any tips or encouragement or anything that you might be able to do that I notice that would help you improve. I, I love to see those videos, so please send them all my way. Talk to you again soon.